We are nearing the end to the part one, that is the question 14, last but one question, to integrate the functions of this form, where we have secant and tan raised to the power. It seemed like the previous problems in the question 13 to 12, we have done shortcut for integrals. We will do the same thing. As long as you have been given the options, you can use this method. So let's take our calculators. The first thing is typing this question as it is in the calculator x tan cubed so please use brackets properly and let's use tan again x squared plus one close the bracket and another bracket and now cube it raise it to the power three and multiply it with secant what is secant exactly so you open the bracket write one divided by cosine that is secant now here it is x squared plus one close now close the bracket here and again properly and then now this is only to the power one so you don't have to raise it to the power so that's it it's x multiplied by now here make sure that the, uh, the calculator is in the radian mode because there is tangent and secant this is trigonometry is right so here you have to press shift mode and four now press equal to now this is this is wrong we need to assume a x value first calculate I would assume 1.5 and what is this answer so write this answer down whatever answer you get write it over here negative 1.945 into 10 to the power minus 3 now all you need to do is derive this particular equation at x is equal to 5 and it should match this now if it doesn't match that's not the answer only one correct answer will match now let's press shift and divide by dx we can take we can, we have assumed over here x as 1.5 now integral of this is the answers right now when you derive this you must get back the question basically so it is 1 divided by 6 here multiplied by open the bracket 1 divided by cosine x squared plus 1 close the bracket sorry close it and now close the again that bracket over here and square it up sorry cube it up because it's power 3 and then we have to subtract it by half, 1 by 2, multiplied with secant. Again, open the bracket because secant is 1 by cosine x squared plus 1. And over here, close the bracket and then just press next and again close the bracket. You do not need to write plus c because it's constant. Even if you put it, it will become 0 at 1.5. This answer must match whatever you get it. Only one answer will match and that's the correct answer. So for all these problems, the same thing. Here you can try it by yourselves. Put this in the calculator, but it must be in radian mode. Solve it up and then uh, take a, assume a x value, calculate it. Write that answer and derive the uh, final answer over here and derive it at what? x is equal to same value which you assumed at 1.5. Now, these problems are straightforward. You ought to just type it out directly. I know some students on, you know, Telegram groups asking me questions and everything. A student did this many times but was not getting the answer. And I, I could not figure it out. I told to clear the calculator. Nothing happened. Nothing worked. It was just that the brackets. Even I was not able to re realize that. I thought it was the brackets. But I didn't realize it at the first uh, go, you know. I thought it was correct. So, I'll tell you what was the error over there. So open the brackets, here it is tan to the power 4, right? So first write x, close the bracket, and then again close the bracket and raise the power. So the only problem over there was it was kind of like this, you know, there was one open bracket, and then this was the error. And then uh, that person had written the other part, but he couldn't get it. So this is why I'm just stressing, because one student had this doubt, and even I failed to realize it in the first go because I thought it was some calculator issue or something. Anyways, over here, open the bracket properly. 1 divided by cosine x. Why? Because secant is 1 by cosine x. And now close the bracket and raise it to the power 4. And it's what? 0 to pi. Sorry, pi by 4, right? Here it's pi, shift and pi by 4. The answer must be 12 by 35 might feel it's very easy yes but try to do it by yourselves you might get some error at times 
Now, what about this? It's the same thing, so I'm gonna leave the same uh, powers. It's tan x to the power four. This is power two, so I'll just change this power here. And what are the limits? Here it is negative pi by four, so it's shift pi divided by four, and the upper limit is pi by four itself. So the answer is, it takes some time, it's two by five. So the final answer over here is two by five. That's how we solve it. And that's the end of the question 14. Another simple and easy topic. Just use your calculator to solve all the problems in these topics.